Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Malit and today we are going to look into feature flags using Next.js and Posthog. So just a quick introduction about Posthog. It is a platform that SaaS product or any other product that you can uh, analyze or you can use it for session replays, A-B testing and feature flags and a bunch of other features they have. And today we are going to use Posthog just for feature flags. And uh, to start, I have a simple application with Next.js. I used create, create Next App CLI to build this project. And what I want to do is set up feature flags in Posthog to show this, uh, this text. For example, if I have an enabled feature flag, I'm going to show welcome. Otherwise, if feature flag, flag is off, I'm going to show this whole text welcome to Next.js. So to get it started, First, you need to sign up and then if you go to the dashboard and here you can click on feature flags. So here you have to create a feature flag and here you can give any name to your feature flag. Before we start creating the feature flags, you need to do a few things. So once you sign up as a fresh account, you will get a piece of code that I think you can also get it from here something similar to this with the with the id called post of need and uh, the host so you need to get this and put it on your use effect in next.js application so in, in this case i have uh, page.tsx uh, and here i have this piece of code here so this way we initialize next.js application inside uh, once the window is loaded so it is loaded in client side and uh, one thing you also need to do is to um, install this postdoc JS. So with you just simply you just have to run npm install postdoc JS. And so let's go back to our application and give it a refresh. So basically, right now I have uh, postdoc running. You can go to network tab and check. So, for example, this one. This is an API called postdoc, and I'm getting list of information here. So, if we check feature flags, this is empty. So, what we want to do is to create a feature flag. Go to feature flags and click on create feature flag, and I let's give it a name. Show welcome. And this and so you can by default enable feature flag and uh, here you can this is a boolean feature flag otherwise you can do multiple variants for with the a b test All right now I'm gonna keep it uh, boolean and without any payload and here roll out you can have uh, so basically I think you can set this up for for example 30 percent of users get your feature flag request so basically not all the users uh, will have this effect of feature flag for example if i enable this and 30 percent of users will see welcome text and rest of the users will see the whole text whole sentence here so let's uh, create it, create the feature flag so basically you need to copy this part in Next.js, we just need to use this. If I, uh, so here, I don't want to give only 30% of the users. I want to give 100% of the users have this feature flag enabled. So I save it. And I will go back to my Next.js application. So here, I'm going to say, if this is enabled, I'm going to show only welcome else I'm gonna show welcome to next.js and right now by default as you have seen it is enabled so if I go back here if I refresh don't see anything but let's go to the network and click here and in the network you can see show welcome is true in the feature flag but here we don't have it so the one reason is this page is loaded in server side i think 
so this is this part is already loaded before this post of is loading. So what I'm gonna do a quick hack here is you can create and, uh, is feature flag enabled for example. Now you can use something is feature flag loaded loaded or is feature flag loaded. So right after loading post hoc I'm gonna set this uh, update this status. I'm simply gonna change the status to true. And uh, here I'm gonna do another check. Switch up like loaded and, and then uh, we are going to show this. So as you can see, you can uh, the feature flag is enabled. You can already see this change. So, boom. So if now we can uh, play, play play around with it. I can go here. For example, we can disable feature flag. And now, all the time, you will see this uh, this welcome to Next.js text. And if I enable again, go back and enable feature flag, and boom, and you see welcome. And yeah, this is how feature flag you uh, you can use feature flag with Postdoc and Next.js. It's super easy. And if you like to get more content like this, uh, keep in touch and uh, subscribe. Thank you.